What's the flattest thing in the world? Well, the entire world, if you ask a flat earther. Not only do they think the earth is flat, but they also love to spend hours arguing about it on Twitter. So to do my own research and form my own opinion, I decided to model both sides' arguments using their own Twitter data, but in a virtual world. I scraped all 95,000 Twitter followers of the Flat Earth account and then looked up all of their tweets for a week in November. Of these 500,000 tweets, I eliminated any non-Flat Earther tweets and then found the most popular conversation. And that conversation contained these 13 lucky members. Some of them are Flat Earthers and others are clearly against Flat Earth, but just follow Flat Earth society for fun. So to decide if the Earth is actually flat, we're going to rely on Twitter likes. Essentially, the side of the debate with the most Twitter likes is going to win. We're going to replay each person's tweets from the conversation, and the person will move forward based on the number of likes each tweet received. If that tweet mentions anyone on the opposing side, they will be considered flamed, and their heads will be lit on fire temporarily, and they will need to move back based on the number of likes that the flaming tweet received. And whoever does not fall off the edge of the earth and successfully invades the opponent's territory will win. But regardless of whoever wins, the real winner here is Twitter. With their new API, they allow anyone to scrape data without any approval. Check out the link in the description to see how you can use the Steve C data platform like I did to scrape all this wonderful Twitter data. Disclaimer, I happen to own the Steve C data platform. So in order to win, you want to post tweets that are the opposite of this. They need to get a lot of likes and they also need to tag members of the opposing team. And just FYI, I'm not showing the actual mentions or anyone's Twitter username here for privacy reasons, but they are there. Back to the game, the non-Flat Earthers are in the lead. They keep posting tweets that are receiving likes and they're tagging all these Flat Earthers. Like this doozy here. Sheesh, that's kind of harsh. And the Flat Earthers are just taking it. They're not even responding. Oh wait, we got a response. A pancake is also flat. Well, I guess they were making breakfast is why they didn't respond earlier. Here's another Nobel Prize winner with one like. And when they can't think of stuff, they just seem to post links to other things and they seem to get likes. And when they do post original content, they don't get any likes. So it looks like the Flat Earthers are losing and they're about to fall off the edge of the continent. But what's with this one guy? He hasn't been flamed at all. He's just been sitting there. We'll just keep an eye on him for now. We don't want to miss any of these really important Flat Earther tweets like this one. Or this one here about libel. Flat Earthers have the reputation to maintain. Especially now that two of them are in the middle of the ocean, but I guess we'll just say that they can walk on water because we've thrown the rest of physics out the window for this video. And look at this, this non-flat earther just invaded England with all of his ruthless tweeting. And oh dear, he's also an anti-masker. Well, you've got to have interesting opinions to be part of this Twitter conversation. Oh look, this guy decided to finally chime in. I guess he's not happy in Australia and is trying to tweet his way out of there with a link to something. And remember this guy? Well, it looks like he finally woke up and is composing a tweet storm now against the non-flat earthers. I mean, he's mostly just posting links and they only get a few likes each, but he's posting a lot of them and they seem to be having an effect. I mean, whatever this one is got 13 likes and that managed to push one of the non-flat earthers into the Pacific. And this Australian guy here keeps providing backup and oh God, now he's talking about the vaccine. And our British invader here lost a lot of ground, but he makes a good point. The flat earthers legitimately believe that the sun shrinks to explain sunsets. To which Australia man is then convinced that this is coming from a bot and he's checkmated them, okay? And behind more vaccine disinformation, the British intruder is asking again about the sunset. It literally cuts in half. How do flat earthers explain this? Let me guess, they're going to respond with a link to something because they can't explain it simply. And bingo, one like, wow. But I am getting a little concerned about the non-flat earthers. They keep repeating themselves now, and we can see that ever since that guy woke up in tandem with the Australian guy have been pushing the non-flat earthers back, causing them to lose a lot of ground. I mean, maybe if they stayed on topic more often, they wouldn't be stuck in the middle of the ocean. Come on, guys. But this doesn't seem fair. I mean, the flat earthers are just posting a lot of tweets that don't get a lot of likes, but their sheer volume is what's causing them to win. And oh dear, the flat earthers have now made this into a religious argument, citing God. And this really got the attention of our friend Stranded in the Pacific, who's now on a Twitter tirade, and you can see he's making a lot of progress and getting a lot of likes. He may even make it back to Alaska. 
And now we're done replaying the tweets. I was only able to scrape a week's worth of tweets because I'm not an academic institution yet. Twitter, if you're watching, please consider upgrading my access. So we're left with three flat earthers who maintain their ground, three who almost fell off the edge of the earth, and the non-flat earthers are roughly about the same. I mean, four of them are on the water, but three of them held their ground. So I guess we'll have to call it a tie and agree to disagree, making this entire video a complete waste of everyone's time. Please like and share this video to spread the truth about our Earth, and thank you so much for watching.